Where is he? Man, oh man, read this book! Home alone, look up in sky and say, what the hell going on up there? Welcome to Top 10 Beyond the Screen. I'm your host, Johnny Rogers, and in today's video, we'll be breaking down all of the celebrities who, for whatever reason, thought blackface was a great idea. But before we get into that, if you don't want to miss another daily video from us, make sure you tap that subscribe button to join our notification squad. Now, with any further delay, let's get right into today's list of the Top 10 Celebrities Who Did Blackface. And at number 10, Justin Trudeau. For those of you who don't know, Justin Trudeau is not only the Prime Minister of Canada, but the leader of the Liberal Party. His past has always been something of a target from his Conservative opponents, and when his re-election came back around, new photos leaked that were meant to put him out of office. Although Canada did re-elect him regardless of the photos, the photos are still a heated topic of debate for many. There are at least three photos and one video of Trudeau wearing racist makeup that we know of. The story was released by Time Magazine, who showcased a photo from a 2001 yearbook from the Vancouver private school called West Point Gray Academy, where Trudeau had taught at. The school staged an Arabian Nights themed gala and Trudeau showed up dressed as Aladdin in blackface with a turban. Yikes. In at number 9, Colton Haynes. Colton is probably best known for his role in the show American Horror Story, but the real American Horror Story is Colton's participation in the long history of blackface in entertainment. Colton was accused of doing blackface not once, but multiple times. In 2011 for Halloween, he dressed up as Kanye West and painted his face and did a similar offensive costume when he did brownface as Gandhi the following year. Colton tried to apologize for this in 2013 during a live stream, but that wasn't going to let people just forgive him. People were also upset over his blackface character in a My Chemical Romance music video. No matter what apology comes out of these people's mouths though, it means nothing. Blackface is never appropriate to do because a person's race or culture is not a costume and it only dehumanizes them. In number 8, Jimmy Kimmel. Call below, look up in sky and say, <laughs> What the hell going on up there? In 1999, Jimmy Kimmel co-hosted a Comedy Central television show called The Man Show. The show was described as geared towards men and their interests. Although, not sure how doing blackface on multiple occasions is either for men or their interests. During one episode of the show, Kimmel appeared in blackface pretending to be the NBA Hall of Famer Carl Malone. It became somewhat of a go-to character for his that he would use in sketches multiple times. Also, from watching the clips, you can tell that he is also using a stereotypical African-American vernacular to further add to his absurd mockery. Not only has he done this in the past for his Carl Malone sketches, but Kimmel even once wore blackface to mock Oprah Winfrey. In at number 7, Sia. Following all of the drama that ensued between Scooter Braun and Taylor Swift, a number of celebrities have come forward to pick a side to defend. Although when Sia stood up for the music manager and called him a good, kind man, Taylor Swift fans started digging into Sia's past. As a result, they uncovered a photo from 2011 and accused Sia of performing during concerts while in blackface. In response to these accusations, Sia took to Twitter and along with a link to her putting on the black paint, she said, for the Swift fans trying to make out that I would ever do blackface, please see this video. I was painting myself into the backdrop. It was a precursor to the wig. In at number six, Jason Aldean. Jason Aldean Williams is an American country music singer and songwriter. Since 2005, Aldean has been signed to Broken Bow Records, a record label for which he has released nine albums and 24 singles. He is a titan so far in the world of kind of bro country music, but after photos began circulating of him wearing blackface, his reputation took a giant hit. Aldean decided to go out in blackface and fake dreads for a Lil Wayne costume. And the backlash for this was swift and more than well deserved. Just under a year after he did this, he still maintained that he had no idea why this costume was hated. During an interview with Billboard magazine, Aldean said, in this day and age, people are so sensitive that no matter what you do, somebody is going to make a big deal out of it. Me doing that had zero malicious intent. I get that race is a touchy subject, but not everybody is that way. Media tends to make a big deal out of things. If that was disrespectful to anyone, I by all means apologize. That was never my my intention, it never crossed my mind. Uh, he sure talks a lot, but I'm not hearing any apologies. In at number five, Julianne Huff. While Julianne Huff was attending the Casamigos Tequila Halloween party, she stepped out of her ride along with some friends dressed as the cast of Orange is the New Black. The main issue with this is that Julianne was dressed as the character called Crazy Eyes, played by actress Uzo Aduba. Along with that, she wore full-on blackface instead of, you know, not doing that and just maybe doing your hair similar. I, I just don't get the desire to paint your face another race, even if it's for a Halloween costume. It just really feels gross, you know? Although, because Julianne is adored in Hollywood, she felt almost zero backlash from her peers 
including the actress that she impersonated. In response to the backlash online she received, Huff took to Twitter and said, I am a huge fan of the show Orange is the New Black, as well as actress Azua Duba, and the character she has created. It certainly was never my intention to be disrespectful or demeaning to anyone in any way. I realized my costume hurt and offended people and I truly apologize. See? That's how you do it, Aldine. In number four, Joy Behar. When photos arose of The View's co-host Joy Behar wearing blackface for a costume, she tried to explain that she was just dressing herself as a beautiful black woman. Although Raven Simone seemed very put off by the entire thing and kept asking Behar, I'm sorry, are you black? Yeah, you ain't black. Joy then, instead of just apologizing for this tone-deaf moment, attempted to defend herself by saying that she had naturally curly hair. Even though that, that definitely was not what Raven was focusing on. And she, so she again asked her, yeah, but did you put dark makeup on your face? For which Joy stumbled to answer. And perhaps the most reprehensible moment of this controversy, though, was when Whoopi Goldberg actually defended Joy's blackface because she was just in a heated debate with Donald Trump Jr. So if it was if it wasn't blackface, then why did Raven Simone get so offended by it? Hmm? I ask you that. In at number three, Jimmy Fallon. During a sketch for the NBC Tonight Show, host Jimmy Fallon apologized for doing an impersonation of fellow comic Chris Rock while in blackface during a 2000 episode of Saturday Night Live. Discussions of Jimmy's 20-year-old skit surfaced recently after a video of it was posted online. According to entertainment trade media outlet Variety, it was first posted on Twitter by a user named Chef Boy oh Dear. Love that name. And the tweet showed Fallon as Chris Rock appearing on a talk show. When the clip began to go viral, many people called for Fallon to be fired from The Tonight Show altogether, although instead he just issued this lengthy apology. Fallon tweeted, In 2000 while on SNL, I made a terrible decision to do an impersonation of Chris Rock while in blackface. There is no excuse for this. I am very sorry for making this unquestionably offensive decision and thank all of you for holding me accountable. God, it's so weird. You know, it's an apology, but you're like, you still did it though, so I'm gonna still look at you in that kind of a light. In at number two, Ted Danson. At the Friars Club, they have this tradition of roasting celebrities with an understanding that everything goes. It's implied that no joke is in bad taste, and therefore they're encouraged to do whatever they basically want. During the roasts, that is. However, when Ted Danson took the stage, that tradition may have come to an end. While roasting Whoopi Goldberg, Danson turned the event into a tasteless display that left many audience members hiding their faces in their hands, while others just straight up left. Everyone cringed in disbelief during the opening monologue by actor Ted Danson, who appeared in blackface and used the n-word more than a dozen times during a series of jokes. And the laugh slowly got smaller and smaller, until finally the audience was groaning so much that Danson messed up as he tried to plow through his written material. I wonder if Whoopi will say that this is in blackface too, just because, well, friends with Ted Danson. Apparently if you're friends with a it's, it's that thing. Oh, I have a black friend. You still can't paint yourself black. <laughs> Last but certainly not least in our number one spot, Robert Downey Jr. Before RDJ took on his iconic role as Iron Man in 2008, which basically turned his entire career around, the actor was facing major backlash and looking at a career end when he starred in Tropic Thunder. The film cast Downey as Kirk Lazarus, an Australian method actor that decides to have pigmentation alteration to darken his skin in order to play a black character. As a result, you get Robert Downey Jr. wearing blackface for most of the film. Downey insisted that he was merely playing a character and understood that it was going to be a terrible idea, but then he decided to ask himself where his heart is in all of this. And he basically ended up doing the role because he got to be black for a summer. His words, not mine. And that has been the top 10 celebrities who did blackface. Thank you so much for watching and thank you to our editors for all of your hard work. If you enjoyed this video, please show us some love here by tapping that like and subscribe button. Plus, don't forget to leave us your thoughts down below. And for more videos like this, all you have to do is tap that playlist when it pops up. From top 10 beyond the screen, my name is Johnny Rogers saying until next time, stay classy.